I'm gonna say this one time, one take, one lane, one grade, my food, my play, give up, I can't, no other eyes. Hello lovies out there in the web, it is me Mercedes and in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you guys, or not really teaching, but kind of like explaining and telling how I edit my YouTube videos, like for example the video you're watching right now, I'm going to be explaining to you guys my tips and tricks on how I edit my YouTube videos. And I'm also going to be discussing all the copyright free music that I use and stuff like that. And yeah, if you guys are interested in how I edit my YouTube videos, then feel free to keep on watching. Also, if you guys are new to my channel and you've never seen my face before here on YouTube, feel free to subscribe. And if you guys do like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. But okay, now let's go ahead and get on started. So. The very first thing, I have my laptop here, I'm going to explain it to you guys step by step. So, first is going to be, <clears throat> oh my god, my voice, sorry. <clears throat> so, the first thing I do is I import all of my footage onto my laptop. Either if it's like vlog footage from my iPhone, I airdrop it to my computer and then I import it. Or if it's from my camera, I insert my SD card and then I import all of my footage onto my laptop. And then the next step that I do is, I'm going to be editing a video along the way just to explain it to you guys. I I take all of my clips, like my intro, my outro, the in-between clips, like everything, and I just, I put it all into the layout of my video, and I have all of it laid out, and I try to place everything in order so that I have a rough cut of everything that I need to go through. So, let me start screen recording. First thing that I like to do is color correct. I know a lot, it's like, it depends on the person and it depends on you as an editor what you like to do, but I personally like to color correct my videos right away. So, what I do is correct this clip right here. Okay, so I instantly enhance the, the eh, 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 I can't talk. I enhance the saturation and then I bring up the brightness just a tad just to see if it's like dark or whatever and I increase that and now here it gets a little bit fancy. I start to use the color board so I use this thing called called highlights and I go to my midtone and I lower it a little bit and then I go to my shadow and I increase it a little bit to give it a little bit of a blue feeling. I like to go for a blue but saturated type of look. That's just the kind of look I go for. And then, yeah, that is basically all there is to color correcting. It's very simple. It takes quick and easy. Eh, it takes, it is quick and easy. So, um, I'm not gonna do like every single clip right now color correcting because I'm just trying to show the rough cut of everything as I go. But then after I color correct, I go through all of my clips and I trim them down. For example, I'll watch through this clip. If there's parts of me that's talking that doesn't make any sense, I'll cut it. And I use Command B to slice up my clips. Command B just slices up your clips. Really simple and easy and then I delete or I cut it. If I want to redo something and I don't like that, I Command Z and Command Z just erases what I did. Now. After I color correct my entire video, I like to do the audio. So for audio, I like to go to here, increase the volume, and then I go to the edit, the, the effects, and I go to limiter. And limiter is great because it doesn't like give you a weird voice effect sound. It's just like the perfect audio effect that increases your audio stance to make it a little bit higher so I like to go to the gain and I increase the gain I don't increase the amount I leave the amount the same I just increase the gain and then there I have decent audio because I don't have like when I, when I vlog on my phone I don't have like a mic built in I mean the phone has a mic itself but I don't have like it's not like a fancy camera where I can like have good audio so I like to use limiter I like to use limiter to help out my audio a lot and yeah <clears throat> so after I do audio the next thing that I like to do is transitions. So I have a few that I use. A couple that I'll tell you I use is slide. And when I put in slide, I do like, I put slide in. And then I change the duration to three seconds. And then after I do the slide, I go to audio. And then what I like to do is go to Final Cut Pro, audio edits, and I go to swish. I used to, I used to, eh, I 
I either use basketball net swish or swish number two. And basketball net swish sounds like this. And swish number two sounds like this. So it really just depends on the effect you're going for or like the sound that you want to have be done. So I import that and I put it all the way up to the highest one. And then I'm going to just listen to this. Hey guys, I'm going to give you See, it sounds like that. It kind of goes like really fast right on into it. It just goes like. Hey guys, I'm going to give you And it gives it like a little bit of a swish, kind of like a nice attention grabber, which is what I like to do with my editing. I like to do a little bit of attention grabbing. For example, if I cough, I go like, <clears throat> I go like, I like expand, I expand it out a little bit. For example, I'll show right now if I want to, I'll go to video and then I'll go to scale and I'll scale it out a little bit if I have like a weird thing. If not, I don't do that. It just depends. Yeah. And then now let's go into, now if you want to add effects, for example, if I want to add an effect on here, I'll go to here. The top effects I use, I'll just pl put it into play is frame. And frame looks like that. Or I'll use SLR. And it looks like that. And if I'm not using SLR or frame, then I like to use... Um, there's another one. I use border which is just like this, and you can just change the width of it, and I deepen the width, whether it's black, white, purple, pink, yellow, orange, whatever, you get the gist of it. And so I do that. And then another effect that I love to use is letterbox. It just makes it look more like cinematic. That's like if I'm doing like, if I'm kind of doing like a montage and I want it to look more cinematic, I'll use that effect, which is letterbox, which just you can change the border size of it and stuff like that. It's pretty simple. And then if I'm trying to go for like something more like kind of like, I don't know how I explain it, like trying to make it look fancy, I'll use H film and H film just looks like that. And then if I'm trying to go for like using like, ah, like kind of like trying to make it girly I'll use artifacts which is puts in light bulbs and it makes it look like that so I like if I use it for that type of reason but there's like a lot of effects that you can see at the side here that you can clearly use um if you're wondering what my like if I'm using like for camera I go to cam quarter and that brings in this effect and yeah, so those are basically all of the effects that I use. Now let's go into sound effects. So I'm going to, oh, also, let's, before we go into sound effects, we'll go into titles because I do use a lot of titles throughout my videos. So I go to custom, I add in like, um, I don't know if you know what custom is. It's from the generators. Generators are like blank templates that you can use. I have some presets templates that I have that I purchased but that's just like, you don't have to purchase them. You can clearly just use a custom one, which is what I always go to use. And then I go to custom text. And then for text, I mostly use, well, I used to use, okay. When I was trying to be like everyone else in my editing, I used to use Hella Vita, Hella Vita. And I used to use bold italic and it looks like that. So this is just text for this type. And then, but the text that I use now for my, I guess you could say like new and improved editing style is I use, I still use a Vita, but I just use bold and it looks like that. And so I just say like, hey, or I go like, so this, or like anything like that. And, and then I do like that. Like, I don't know. It's just simple text and I like that better. So for example, I'll be like, I can place it on top of here, and then this is where I get a little fancy. I do like, let's just say I'm saying hey. I do that, and then I go to drop shadow, and then I add a background. It's just a simple, like, drop shadow is just a simple background that I do, and you can change the opacity or whatever, and then you can zoom it in like that, and it looks like that. And yeah, that's how I do my text. And then if I want to add like a simple like sound effect with my text, I can do like, I go to here, I go to the sound, it's cork, bottle cork, 
and it's like sounds like a popping noise in a way. You know what like a bottle cork sounds like, and I turned that up all the way. So then now we can watch it back. Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a quick update. I encourage Or if anything, instead of saying hey, I would probably say like quick update. And then I'd do like that. But yeah, that's so this is how it'll play out. Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a quick update. I am currently on And that's kinda like how I do my transition with the text and everything. And now we're gonna go on into like songs or not songs, what am I saying? Um, what's the next step? To recap, we had color correcting, we had enhancing the sound, adding transitions, adding sound effects, and then regular video effects. We went over the video effects that I use. And now we're gonna go on over in a list. All my songs that I have here are all copy, free copyrighted songs. And I will insert, like right now, I'll insert a few of my favorites ones that I like to use for like my videos. There's upbeat, there's background music, there's regular playing like montage music that I have. So I'll insert that right now. I'm singing, yes I'm singing Oh I don't feel how I used to Anymore, anymore I don't hear from you, I sing to you And when you go Leave me here all alone I'll be waiting Ten o'clock, feeling for the guap. I be So I like to do, I go to, I have a saved YouTube outro that I use and I made it myself, which is a whole other video I could do on about how to make a cute little intro or a cute YouTube outro. So I can make a whole separate video on that, but it took a while to make, but I can just play it real quick. Let me show you how cute. We have to stop it. I can't like play the music, but I can let it, you see it. And it goes into the rest. So that's my YouTube outro. I think it's pretty cute. But as you notice, I cut out the whole entire part of me like dancing, swimming, all that random stuff. And I just put the regular like my other thing that I do for my editing is I'm trying to think what else. Oh yeah, sometimes with having iPhone, like if the, if the camera comes off like horizontal I'll have to re-edit that out so I go to here I go to position or rotation or what do I call it yeah I go to position I go to 100 no wait scratch that rotation I go to 100 and then I try to rotate it a little bit to like the actual there we go, and then I zoom it in, and that is basically how I do that. Now, if you're wondering, like, other transitions that I use, I use, like, let me just insert a couple. I use clothes line, or clothing line, it goes like that, it looks like that. And then I also use fade and it just fades to color, it can fade to whatever, and it goes like that. I'm trying to think what else do I use. Uh, I definitely use cross dissolved, it just goes over to the next. Um, if I'm trying to be like a little bit cool or whatever, I'll use bloom. And then, I, I have these Pixel Film Studios, I don't know if you've heard of Pixel Film Studios, but it's 
basically an editor's place to buy transitions, sound effects, video effects, all that jazz. And so I bought, I bought in some, and some of the ones I bought that like the effects that I think are pretty cool are like this one, it goes like that, or like I have some other ones that are like, like that, that you guys see like people do, or the clockwork. Like I have a lot, or like this one that a lot of YouTubers use that I can just insert real quick to show you guys how it works. It is, looks like this. Probably what's going on. And it goes like that. It's very like cool or whatever, but like nowadays, like my, my, my latest editing style that I do is simply just slide transition or a clothing transition or like a fade. I keep it simple. My editing has changed drastically. I used to use like a lot of girly girl. That, I don't want to, I don't want to categorize it as girly girl, but kind of like upbeat edits. That's what I'll categorize it as upbeat edits with like spinning, twirling, all this stuff, flashing, all that stuff. I used to use that. Now in my playlist videos, I, I use some, uh, I forgot to mention the effects that I use. It's like flashing, like flashing. It could go like that on a, on a text. It could do that also. Or like intro flash, it can go like this, like that. It's really, it's really cool. Um, another thing that I like to use is, oh, I'm so slow. Okay, I'm gonna do, okay, I almost forgot. This video is kind of like all over the place, but like who actually cares? How to make it like aesthetically pleasing is like doing, and then an effect that I occasionally use, I don't always use, is prism. And you put it there, and that's an aesthetic effect. Another one is bad TV, which is kind of like staticky, which you can do like that, so you have that. And then another is transition, you go to lights, you can always go to lights and you'll find it. it's called static, and you just place it right there. And I do, okay, this is something that I don't know if people know it can do, but there's two types of static. There's static A and static style B. Oh man, that sounds so weird. Like, what's on my throat? Whatever, okay. Stat I use static style B for the most part, so it goes like this. And it can go into like that. That's kind of like a way of like another style of like editing was kind of like an aesthetic style. But for the most part, um... That's basically everything that I do with my editing. Let's go back, let's go to my documents and I'll show you guys a video of mine that I did that had some pretty cool editing in it. So it's like this. And then I have, okay, so for that I had, I used the Helvetica text with a drop shadow for the text and I did it in white and then I had the slide effect or slide trend, not effect, slide transition and I had it slide on in with the text and then I had SLR, excuse me, I had an SLR effect on my coffee and then I had just a quick transition and then I had color correction on all of the, on all of the trees and everything. And then I had the frame on, like, for when I had the shopping cart, I had the frame effect there. And then I color corrected this, you know, with the, yeah. So this is kind of like how it comes into place. Um, to, I go to thematic, a bunch of free copyright music, and it's awesome. You can join it for free. I highly recommend this website. The only thing, the only catch you have to do is you have to put it in your description box and give credit to the artist. So you have to do that all the time. But that's not, it's not the small price to pay for awesome co free copyrighted music that you can get. But overall, that's basically the gist. I was just showing a couple of little extra things that I do to make my editing a little bit more pizzazz and aesthetic as you know. But that's basically the gist of all of it. I go and like how I edit my videos. Thank you so much for watching this whole entire video. If you guys want more tips and tricks on how to edit or if you guys want to know how to edit a certain style or a certain way, leave that in the comment down below. Leave that in the comment section down below. Or if you guys have any video requests, feel free to leave it down below. Also, feel free to check out my most recent uploads. They'll be in the description box. I'll also leave a few iCards here and there for my most recent uploads and stuff like that. And it'll also be at the end of this video in the outro that I do. 
But if you guys are new to my channel and you've never seen my face before here on YouTube, feel free to subscribe. And if you guys do like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any more video requests, like I said before, feel free to comment them down below. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you have watched this video all the way to the end, comment down below. So aesthetic. So aesthetic. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah! Bye.